Yeah, what is up, what is up, welcome to a brand new episode of the Grease Couch Chronicles Yeah Welcome back Welcome back to a new episode, a new installment, a new gathering of thoughts, or whatever Um, Before we do get started, (laughs) before we do get started, we want to encourage you and entice you <laughs> <laughs> to shout out Glow Nude. Yes, guys, make sure you follow us on our Instagram at Glow.Nude, 100% organic skincare for your skin, for every skin. No, I'm gonna lie. Make sure you follow us on our Instagram again at Glow.Nude. No, I'm gonna lie. Yeah, let's do it. Um, So I was thinking about, you know, those days that's just like, they feel like they're dragging or you're just looking forward to like a, trip or just like you know some some working class people the weekend right so it's like damn like that movie click like how how would it how lit i guess right i guess more we talk about it how how would it be if you could can control the 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 day like in a way that all right so i want it to be this time tomorrow like 6 p.m tomorrow where i'd already be off work or whatever like how lit would it be for you to just fast forward those boring days? But is a kicker. You almost don't remember what happened. That's the thing. Like I feel like we would get too carried away. <laughs> like the day just started a minor inconvenience. They're like <laughs> zoom. <laughs> Did I eat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you would. You, we would zoom past our days. <laughs> Did I eat? What the. F- you, you you in handcuffs in jail? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what did I do? I, I think. What did I do? I think there was a reason we don't have yeah. control on that caliber. Mm-hmm. We would wild out with it. Especially especially those people that you know what I mean they do drugs and you know they they just tend to black out or whatever or they drink a lot. That and, I mean, is those wild. People, like honestly, like, like what are you talking about? No, it's like how do you get? That messed up. That, that messed up. bad. Like yo, that you, you you're like blank. <laughs> like that. That is insanity. That is insane. Honestly, I don't know. I don't think I've reached that point. I've I've known I drink. I've drunk. I've drank like a lot, and then I passed out. Like I, I threw up, and then I just passed out after throwing up. But there's people who can drink, get to the point, <laughs> and then they're like. They're alive. They're, they, yeah, they're like, like bothering people. They're, they're they've entered another realm, and that's crazy. Because like, like, yo, who are you? It's like, how are you still functioning? And who then they're like, you? yeah, I don't remember what happened. You're like, a liar. Yeah, I'm a liar. Like, you don't remember being a liar. <laughs> you tapped into somebody else because I don't know who. I've always thought that was weird, bro. Like, Very weird. You like, drank so much that you don't remember. You don't remember? What are you talking about? <laughs> it's like you shift. <laughs> that is weird. I've seen people like they've gotten like really drunk where they're, like, their eyes are low, almost as if they're high. <laughs> and they're just kind of like, like, <laughs> like either bob into the music really like slowly or they're like, you know what I mean? They're like trying to balance themselves. <laughs> so I'm like, all right. So that's not it. Right? Yeah, that so, that's not so it. You're pa- you're past that. <laughs> it's and like- then you're functioning <laughs> like what? <laughs> that, that is something I don't know, of man. I don't know. liquor, bro. Bro, like that's it's so it's a, a different type of sorcery, yo. It's poison for sure. Of course, like, of course. Now, nah, like it's actual poison. Like you're drinking actual poison, liver Wait. poisoning. Because like well, liquor, you're building up a tolerance to it. Liquor is fermentation of like. They stay fermenting shit, right? <laughs> so, of course, it's poison. It's like cheese. Like mm. cheese has to get to a certain point for us to be able to consume it, and it's like, yo, what happens when you eat cheese? Your ass is blasting, really, like. Gang. So, I don't think I think we should just stop this overall. Like, stop alcohol, the consumption of yeah, alcohol. It's not really. It ain't it, especially when there are elixirs that like can literally put you in a space where that you want to be, and you don't have to consume. And it's not poison, like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like there's certain type of like shrooms or whatever that's meant or herbs that can take you there. So stop, stop with the alcohol, man. 
This is it's fun. bad vibes. Speaking of bad vibes. You know vibes, what it is before we get to that? You know what it is? It's like, how can we all be on the same level and like have a good time? Because a lot of people use it to loosen up, they say, right? I need yeah. to loosen up. <laughs> Liquid courage. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> you hella tight. <laughs> that is just wild, though. It's such a wild yeah. thing. So like, it's like, y'all, y'all want to drink? Let's go drink. And then you you would like say mm, four, like five, four or five people, right? And then you have that one person that's like, you know, all right, this is my limit. I'm kind of good. You know, I'm kind of good. Mm-hmm. And then you have that one person where it's like, let's do shots. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know what I mean? It's they, always that one. you with the shots. And you have that one person that's like, all right, I got to go. Like, wait, 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 We know. You know what and it's, it's like. that one person that, you know, I mean, they get too far and it's like, oh, man, you know, this is why we don't go out with this person. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's always that. Like liquor, liquor. I don't, I don't know. It feels like it brings out the worst in certain people. It's. I feel like everybody worst. has their worst. Like, yeah, you, but it brings out the worst in certain people. Like, <laughs> yeah, you're no good with liquor. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, you need to stay away. Yeah, you need to stay away. You and liquor just don't yeah, mesh, yeah. man. That's what I mean. Of course, that you know, we all have our moments, but like, I mean, those ones that's like, yo. You need to be over here, and liquor needs to be over there. <laughs> the other side of the room. We need to ask: Is he coming? Because we're gonna drink. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Damn man. Type shit, type shit. Don't be that friend. Yeah, for real. <laughs> what were you saying? Speaking. I of was bad saying, vibes? speaking of bad vibes, like Dubai is underwater. Like, what is happening? What, did you Did you see that? Like, Dubai what, has. Hey, hold on. What do you mean Dubai is underwater? Like, like is the entire Dubai flooded? It's, it's been flooding, like no. crazy flooding. I guess they got like crazy rain. Was it, yeah, I was gonna say, was it like a hurricane or something? Uh, yeah, I don't know if this is. Cause I thought I, they were kind of good off that because they have a lot of money in that place. So it's like, but, how are you not? You don't have preventative measures. Not from the guy. Right? Yeah. yeah. Like, so if you, you really if they really haven't gotten that. rain in end a while. End of days, man. Yeah. The end of days. Shit, bro. I Look mean, I, I don't know if it's AI generated, but I saw some <laughs> shit with the camels and they're like fighting for their lives. So you never yeah, know. Yeah, it sucks, bro. I've seen other news with the Middle East. Like, there's bombs. It was, I saw like a, like a Still? storm of bombs coming from. Sheesh. I guess I ran over to Israel. So, man. damn, it's we we. There's a war, man. There's a reason why I say the tag at the end of the episodes, man. But yeah, if we're over here living, you know, living our lives like it's, it's golden, golden. <laughs> you, know <what> I mean? <laughs> like, <laughs> you won't know. Never like, know. Stuff like Dubai flooding, bro. Like, damn, to be, be to to be blessed still. You know what I mean? To be blessed. <laughs> nah, my damn. Damn. For the fact that you get to wake up and listen to a podcast and. Laugh and watch Kais and that, you know what I mean? Yeah, what? Be, be blessed. Dude. Speaking of him, what are what is people's beef with him now? I'm seeing like, beef. yeah, I'm seeing like people stitch videos and saying like, I, I didn't realize that people who pay rent, people don't ad- like adults him? are I've subscribing only known to him. people to like Kais and that. I guess yeah. the, the recent um, if, uh, events that took place might have stirred up some people. So if you don't know or if you just don't care, like a lot more people... Um, Kai Sinat allegedly, um, he's saying it's not true. I watched the video. He did the breakdown. Um, an OnlyFans girl or an escort, whatever you want to call her. Lord have she's my. saying that he sent her $5,000 to sleep with her. Um, he made a video saying he didn't. He just paid her $50 for her Uber. But that makes me, as an inquisitive and analytical person, go, well, why are you sending her $50 for a Uber if you didn't pay her the initial five k? So that's <clears throat> that's one thing, and two, she has pictures and videos of them together. So I feel like the first transaction for sure happened, which is the five k. He's saying that never happened. He had the receipts. He pulled out his old Apple wallet and said, "Yo, I only gave her fifty dollars." So I don't know. Um, it's a lot of he say she said. So for the fact that the picture came out of him sleeping and she took a picture, and I guess that proves that he slept with her. Um, he's Dude, saying it's like revenge they're porn. still doing that. That's weird, bro. Yeah, he's saying that's revenge porn. I didn't consent to this, and he's suing her. He bought her domain, and it's just it's a messy situation. That's but, uh, wild. But I guess people are saying he may have taken the wrong route. 
as far as what just though buried her as far as like financially and stuff um yeah because I guess he people, bought her domain and he's like he outed her on like being untruthful of to the uh events of what happened between the two of them so I don't know which side you want to take. I yeah, I'm I on the side of not caring. Yeah, I, di- I didn't. I didn't know that that happened. But like, I I just saw it randomly because you know when you like YouTube Shorts, you cannot regulate it. Like <laughs> you cannot regulate <laughs> YouTube Shorts. Like. And I just saw like a whole bunch of like people saying, "Yo, like, well, whatever about him." And I'm just like, like, like you said, I only know people to like him, so I don't know where that. I know came a lot from. more people like Kaisenet <laughs> than people that don't like Kaisenet. But yeah, very overwhelming number. So that 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 is weird. I'm not even gonna comment on that because so I think that wasn't should, on the doc. Yeah. I think that should be private matters. But like, yeah. I didn't think that was the reason. What but, you want to do is his business, man. Yeah, it's, it's his business, and I feel man, like whatever at this point. I feel like when it comes to OF content, like if you're in that realm and money is being sent to you f- because you're in that realm, that, that that's the that. <laughs> I mean, I, you can't get mad at me for going to math class if you're the math teacher. Yeah, I feel like, I don't know, like, a lot of people want um, shock clout. Like, do something crazy or something that the people don't expect, and this is how I'm going to get notoriety. Like, yeah, there's that, a lot of that's weird, there's a lot bro. of space for that, because that's all I see. It's like, oh, wow, I didn't think, you know what I mean? The yeah. first, the first thing you think, and it's like, all right, now everybody's searching this person up, so... I feel like people yeah, take that and they run with it. Like, yo, how can I shock the public and gain some type of, you know, a bag? And before you know it, this person is going to have a lash deal or a brand <laughs> deal. Yeah, <laughs> an ebook on how to uh, finesse. Become a fashion over partner. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I'm lie. that's weirdo oh, vibes. But thoughts and prayers, I guess. For everybody involved. So, <laughs> what do you think about... Um, like those videos of I've seen a few of like some kids like I guess speaking up to their parents like you know what I mean in a way of like hopefully not that one with the little boy smacking his mom in the face like it was just one of many no I think that's crazy I do feel like kids need a like it shouldn't be oh I'm an authority yeah, and like what's the barrier almost you know because a lot of people don't want to abuse their kids I guess. I saw Dr. Umar say something that I kind of, I'm thinking on it. You know what I mean? It's well, he like, said, smack the kids. He said, you should. <laughs> <laughs> smack the kids. <laughs> uh, um, he said, you should hit your child if what they're doing is causing harm to others or it looks like it's going to cause harm to themselves. So there needs to be some type of like, I guess physical punishment so that's in their mind as if like this is dangerous you know what I mean I've only like I've thought about it I haven't fully developed the thought but I get it I get what he's saying but I don't I don't know I I get I get what he's saying I I don't know if I agree with that I feel like I don't know if I agree I feel like all these things start from a young age where you need to develop a level of understanding between you and your kid. Like, so for them to know, yo, without me putting my hands on you, like you're in some trouble, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause when it comes to, to, to my kid, I, I don't, I try not to put my hands on him because I feel like it just sends a message of, yo, I can't control myself and I can't, <laughs> As an adult. yeah. And I can't regulate <laughs> discipline like. because how is it that, that I'm the adult in the situation and because you're doing something wrong, I need to like lay hands on you. That's crazy to me. I feel like you should know that, yo, I can tell you there should be ways for me to say, yo, don't do that and don't do that again. And or I'm going to start taking stuff away from you. And then you're going to be in a space where, yo, you can't do nothing. And what are you going to do? Get mad. That's true. Get upset. And then you're going to learn how to regulate your feelings. So I feel like <clears throat> us as parents, especially in the uh, POC community, like we have to learn to. Prisoners like, of corruption. <laughs> <laughs> No <laughs> word up. We got <laughs> we got we got to learn to regulate yeah. our emotions. I know that a lot of us come 
coming from work or coming from wherever and we're already frustrated so to deal with kids that's running around <laughs> not listening it can be easy to them. just yeah it can be easy to just like pull out a belt and like you know give them a few imagine you giving your kids some food and they just throw that shit out the table <laughs> it's like bro then you will never eat <laughs> you will never eat again in this house <laughs> me, fucker. <laughs> nah, I feel like there should be a level where your kid can They'll tell test you. I feel like the, yeah, you, the kids will test you. For of sure. course, of course, they're gonna test you. I they're they're entering. Like I always say, like, kids. Oh. <laughs> kids have never been here before. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So they're doing stuff that they're just trying to figure stuff out. And like, I don't blame them for, you know doing something and you're like yo a little taken back obviously you've been in the situation before mm -hmm. so i feel yeah. like when it comes to kids you just have to set a a, a a boundary where they can talk and speak for themselves because you don't want kids growing up and then they're they don't know they don't say nothing to nobody and then you're even in more problems because then now you have messed up adults where do you think the messed up adults come from abusive yeah, homes yeah. and toxic parent kid situations being traumatized and yeah being so <clears throat> I always say have your kids have a voice, but understand that there's boundaries and respect that needs to be involved. That's a fact. That's a fact. But we are going to take a break. and We're going to come back with some more topics for y'all. Keep it locked at DCC for sure. All right. To my YouTube people. Uh, that was a quick second, right? To all <laughs> my um, DCC potters, audio lovers. Hope you enjoyed that. And um, if you're not a audio lover, you might as well head over there. You know, see the vibes I, I cook up every every week. You know I mean, you're really missing out. A lot of y'all that watch the YouTubes, y'all are really, really missing out. So go ahead and check it out. Um, yeah, let's keep it going. Um, I got I got a little glimpse of what was going on over there. Now, but before we before we get to that, let's get to this. Um, is there ever a good way to end? Any relationship? Yeah, of course. Just don't talk to somebody. I feel like... I feel like that's the best way. There's a lot of people I haven't spoke to pre-COVID. And, and I, just never, I just never, start, never talked to them again. But then, that's but, all that happened. I just never said, what's up, again. This is... I, I understand that, but I'm saying that... Is there, any, is there ever a way to sever ties without having people be like, you know, that, that nigga is an asshole and he just... Cause you know we're entering people the, are liars. Yeah, and that part too. We're entering an age where everybody has a story where this person was a narcissist and this person I gaslit me. And you I can't control what people are gonna say though. That's, that's true. It. That's true. I I just feel like how are we gonna progress forward with these types of relationships? Not specifically partner relationships, but how are we gonna progress when there's so like I feel like there's never a progressive conversation to be had about severing ties no i don't feel, i feel like it's best not to talk about it i guess that's true because you're growing you feel like you're going a different way to come back to somebody that you've grown past and explain to them why you've grown past them they've always they're always gonna look at it like damn fuck like you better than me or something or like what makes you think that you could just you know what i mean move on or whatever the fuck you think they're gonna rebuttal i feel like the best way to p sever ties with someone you feel like you have no interest talking to or whatever. It's to just not engage in their life form. Like I'm That's never, true. I'm never gonna, not gonna call you. I'm not gonna text you. I'm just not interested in your existence. So the best way I feel personally, and you know, I mean, you could rob me for whatever, but you're all we're all living our lives is just to not hit them up ever. Don't. No forms of communication. That's so the best no contact way. at all. No I, contact I, I at all. That's, true. that's the best. I always way. thought that was toxic. No, that's the best way to end any relationship. Yeah. No communication at all. Yeah, that's true. Because once you give somebody a bridge, they're gonna want to take an airplane. <laughs> that's <laughs> true. Yeah, that, line. that is definitely true. You're gonna go above and beyond and be like, so what makes you think you could just reach that out? <laughs> <laughs> that is so true. Yeah. What are you talking about, bro? <laughs> just end it. It's the best way. But anyway, like I was saying, I've, I'm I've always been an uh, advocate of festivals and like you know what I mean. I'm gonna try and vibe with it. Depends on how I feel. And um, I threw Coachella away. Like we yeah. knew it was done with Coachella, but from what I've seen from this year's 2024 Coachella, it looked pretty lit. All the performances, especially from all the newcomers, 
been pretty lit. Like it looked like it was straight vibes. Um, what I've been seeing a lot randomly is Travis Kelsey and um, Taylor Swift being in the crowds, enjoying it like a normal person. So that was. I mean, <clears throat> I've seen a lot of that in other people's reels and stuff. And um, you know, Justin Bieber as well. He was in the crowds. So it's like okay. So I feel like that kind of added to it. Like, oh shit, I might be bumping. Bumping knuckles with Justin Bieber or Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. But um, YG Marley it looked like he killed that song. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Coachella looked lit. So, I don't know. When it comes to um, Coachella, it's never been something I've been really interested in. Because I always hear people say it's in the middle of the desert. <laughs> it's hot. You get <laughs> thirsty. Like you pass out. Like, it's I not, don't like that. Yeah, it's, it hasn't <laughs> been an like interest that. of mine. But what I do... What I would partake in is Dreamville. That looks oh, more fun shit, to me. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't want to go to L.A. But and people... Not, it's not like a festival. Though. It is a festival. Oh, okay. I, I wouldn't want to go to L.A. and they're charging $100 for a personal it's like slice of pizza. It's like dollars for, like, a piece of chicken or something. Uh, yeah, like, I'm not interested. Y'all price gouging because y'all know certain caliber of people are going to be here. It's not yeah. my interest. Like, shout outs to the performances, though. Um, I think Lauren Hill was there because yeah. she and uh, YG Marley or whatever. Will Smith did the Man in Black song. Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> I don't even want... <laughs> I was like, the fuck? <laughs> Why is he doing that? Why not sing yeah, Summertime? Well, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that would have been cool, too. But, like, he had the aliens in, um, on stage, like the big head, alien head. And we was, just, we was just talking about, you know what I mean, Will Smith. <laughs> and when he was in the mailroom, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> Smith, man. Oh, man. What a, like, what a timeline he's yeah, had. Yeah, wow. They said everybody loves Will Smith besides his wife. That's true. <laughs> that is true, man. Coachella was lit. Looks like Ice Spice debuted a new song. Gave me the light or something. That I, I totally for, forgot about her. Like, I forgot she existed. She's, I think she's kind of becoming, like, she's, she's, like, getting into the, she's getting into herself. Like, she's becoming, like, that the it artist a real I saw person her, i saw her rolling loud performance we all did and then i saw her um coachella performance it's like oh you know what i mean she's becoming like a real artist before we thought it was just like you know what i mean the little gimmicky. gimmicky shit you know what i mean the little twerk bend over twerk vibes but now it's like you know what i mean she's rapping her songs no audio on the track just a beat so it's like all right go ice spice becoming an artist and shit so shout outs to her you know what i mean Childish Spice. Childish brought out Childish Gambino, so Where have never he seen been? that. Yeah, um, and he kind of been on the lows, so it's like, damn, Childish Gambino. He's more still of an alive, actor so. now. Yeah, so Daniel Glover, Tyler, Tyler the Creator, um, Tyler the Creator had. I mean, he's a great performer anyway. So yeah. just the clips I've seen from Coachella, from the YG Marley's to the Ice Spice to you know, what I mean, Lauren Hill, Will Smith. I'm just like, wow, that looked like a Coachella that, you know, what I mean. You should have been there. You know? <laughs> how, long, how long do you think Coachella is going to go on for? Like, for do you, as long as I feel like they're trying to gear towards each year. It's like, how can we gear more towards to whoever's 20 something? You know what I mean? Oh, I it's guess. not being about who, whoever is above the age of, like, let's say 28. I mean, nigga, like, if you're 40 at Coachella, yeah. <laughs> like, give it they're up. They're going to be like, I think Travis Kelsey kind of their age. But um, I feel like a lot of. The marketing behind Coachella is like, who's the who's the it artist for whoever is below twenty five and continue. Right. So you know, what I mean, um, they're always gonna gear their marketing and whatever they do to some of millennials and then some of the newer Gen Zs and then it's gonna be Gen X and then so on and so forth. They're gonna keep pushing that backwards as far as they can. Yeah. While still trying to gear towards whoever is above that age range because Will Smith's us. I spices them. So it's like, you know, yeah, that's true. That's how they're going to do it each time. Uh, let's, let's slide in the music a little bit. Um, yeah. We got Drake versus everybody. Everybody versus Drake. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. They're calling it the, uh, the infinity war, but rap beef for the fact that Drake, I guess would be Thanos. And then the, everybody else is the Avengers. <laughs> what? I mean, I can't fathom all of this starting because of the 
the the the the verse On said first person shooter. <laughs> like I'm 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 almost <laughs> like, like baffled. Yeah, it seems, I'm I'm it baffled seems very crazy. because Drake has probably been provoking these people, but like to pro- be provoking everybody, yeah. and then like. What did he do to make them that man? I'm so confused. <laughs> like honestly, like I cha- I, I like this. Don't get me he wrong. He has a unique music contract. I think that has a lot to play with it. Is what I've heard from a lot of people. Like, is he stopping niggas' bags or something? He's, he's not, but he's making it look bad. It's almost as if like the popular girl in school is getting all the good grades and everybody like her. So if you're just an average girl making average grades, everybody's gonna be like, yeah, but you're not Stacy. You know what I mean, so it's like he's doing so well that it makes everybody look bad. Because that's that's crazy. Because he did an album with Future, right? Yeah. Like we've seen him partner with Travis Scott. We've seen him like you know with all these people before. We've seen him champion these people. So how is it that now these people hate you? And it cannot. Like I I pray that it's not over a what female. Is it? Because what, like, you cannot be upset at me for getting the bag that I'm getting. I negotiated my deal. I was in a crappy deal. Some people are saying this is fabricated. But, I don't know, like, I can't This is confusion, that. because he literally put out albums, people hated it. People hated the album that he put out. I think it's good to hate him. Like, you seem normal for hating him. Like, I get the Kendrick beef. Like, him and Kendrick been beefing for forever now. I I, I get it. You know what I'm saying? But for Future, for Rick Ross, for Travis Scott, for what Metro Boomin, do? for, like... Please don't let it be a woman. Please. I hope it's not a woman. that like, is so corny, bro. That is mad freaking corny, bro. Like, over... over really? <laughs> really? <laughs> Over a girl, bro? Y'all made me sick to my stomachs, bro. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, seriously. Like, that's weird. And, 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 and it's a girl that's not your wife. Like, yeah. it's not your wife. He's like, Rocky came at him. Rick Ross came at him. Rick Ross kept calling him white boy. That was so cringy. That's, it's, to me, that that's, so that's weird and cringy because my mom is white. I am white. I am half white. You're saying something that's that true? that's like facts. <laughs> like that is, I, you're you're. I am you're indeed saying, white. <laughs> you're, you're dissing me in a fact. <laughs> like it's not a. Your name's Aubrey. <laughs> it's like, yeah. and it's weird yeah, with with even the Pusha T situation because they have no choice but to say like, oh, you got a son. Like <laughs> this is somebody with facts is crazy, bro. It's like I. Uh, I have a son and I was keeping it from the world for a reason. Like, yeah. I don't want people in my business. Like, Drake has never put people in his business. He's never been the one to say, yo, I got a kid. This is my baby mom's. This is this. This is that. I feel like it's weird to try to ambush somebody with, like, things <laughs> <laughs> with things that you know that, like, I don't know, man. You think that's what Drake does? Because I'm trying to think of the things he said, I guess, to men in that sense. Does he do that low key? Like, I don't. Is that, are they trying to do what he does? Cause I don't know. I don't know if he's ever said anything verbatim like, "Oh, that's why you live with your auntie on West." You know what I mean? Whatever the fuck. I feel like Drake has always been the guy to talk generally. Like I could be wrong. Yeah, but he's, he's dissing your average guy because yeah, I heard it. Like he said, "Yo, <laughs> I don't. I don't eat at Carbone. I don't. I don't do these things like that. Y'all do. I'm on a different caliber. And yeah. if you feel slighted, mad at him for that." If you feel slighted by that, that's on you, my nigga. Up your game. Like, why? Are you, or or don't be bothered by it. If you feel like you're in a caliber with Drake and you work at USPS, you're crazy. <laughs> like, you're crazy. Think that. <laughs> like, yo, Drake dissing me. Like, no, he doesn't even think about you. Like, he doesn't even he concern your, himself. Your average guy or a little, I want to say probably a little above to close to average guy probably doesn't like Drake. And that's just... I can't believe that shit, but I feel like worried I can about stand a, on that fact. Worried about another Dudes nigga like that really is kind of don't like Drake, and I'm trying to understand why is that the case. I feel like niggas nothing like that is corny. That's nothing to do with you. it. Really has nothing to do with you, and I just feel like these type of beefs outside of the music because I love it for the music sense, but like outside of the music, when people are just doing weird stuff, it's just crazy to me. It's nasty. Like it's an it's nasty work. Like I don't know. But hey, if it's thoughts and prayers, yeah, thoughts and prayers, man. 
Let's just enjoy the music. I mean, it's almost impossible to not do the music take, being that Drake did drop a diss track, the Push Ups. Um, it's a diss track, I guess, against everybody, as we were saying. Um, it came out as a leak. I'm not sure if it's officially out yet, but I'm pretty sure it will be out soon. And um, Drake yeah, never he's released coming the at leaks. Kendrick Lamar, uh, Rick Ross, obviously. He said Metro Boomin got to shut the fuck up and, and, pl and play some drums. <laughs> and, and that he will. That's his job. <laughs> no, my That's lie. his job, man. So no rebuttal there. Um, I was sent the leak directly from Drake site now. <laughs> <laughs> like yo jd here <laughs> this is what i'm working with <laughs> nah, but i got sources so i got it early um the official one not the fake one and yeah i was i was surprised because it's like wow like he's he's going direct like it's not just to me at least i don't feel like it's like a drake bop but it's a good song and people like it and i can see it being played but it was just like a straight, in my opinion, a straight diss. Yeah. He, he said, Kendrick Lamar wears size sevens. I'm like, damn, like, <laughs> I was in like sixth grade last time. <laughs> Coming out of a nigga's shoe size is crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. There were so many like short dude jokes, which I know a lot of men are um, like, sensitive. They, they're very sensitive about their height. So that was like a low blow. For <laughs> no pun intended, know what I mean? No, I'm lie. <laughs> but it's like, yo, he, he came at him, man. And I was just like, damn, like, damn. Kendrick, I hope Kendrick has a huge comeback for that because I don't know. I feel like it's it's very like, damn, like, he came at Kendrick for sure. But, like, what are you, what are you going to say about that, Kendrick? Is it just? I'm, gonna... I'm excited to hear what he has to say about Drake's this. I've heard people say that Kendrick is only good at dissing niggas in like mm. featured tracks. I never thought about that. Cause I've never, I don't think I've ever heard a, a Kendrick full can, yeah, diss I can, track. I can say this is true. Yes, I think so. Yeah, I've never heard. He of... did it on Big Sean's Control. It's like, bro, why do you do this? Who pops out like a guacamole every? <laughs> <laughs> Just dissing niggas, like, cause like, I don't. Why do, you, why do you gotta do that, man? Because I don't understand how he could have got slighted by the whole, like, yo, big three thing. Like, I'm still baffled by that. I get there. I think <clears throat> because, I, like, it's going off my brain. I think because J, J. Cole said me and Drake is like the Spider-Man meme. And everybody knows Spider-Man is like the greatest superhero ever. Right. He said the Spider-Man meme is me looking at Drake. Yes. Yeah, so it's like. But there's mad Spider-Man memes. It's big three, but it's me and Drake. Like we are him, but contextually, you talking about the three one when there's three Spider Mans. Yeah, but everybody knows the two. Is it not valid hey, it's though? You. Is it not valid though? Because Kendrick Lamar drops one album and then he disappears for like ten thousand years. I don't understand what what are so you mad about, bro? It only makes sense. Like, what are you mad J. about? J Cole, bro? it's it's been me and J Cole ping pong in this game for a while now where are you get out of your cave bro yeah so it's like how are you how are you gonna pop up mr morale and you're the big three bro. <laughs> would you join us like <laughs> once in a while you have a use your seat <laughs> this is your seat bro and i feel come out, you go come out and say man <laughs> fuck that and i feel bad for big sean because he you tried to participate <laughs> oh big sean bro big sean tried to join and niggas is like shut the fuck up <laughs> like everybody talking about this big three <laughs> No, you're not life. in it, my you're, guy. You're a father. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're not in it. You're a new father at that. <laughs> yeah, like. Kid, like, one year old, Big Sean. Big Sean, you have never been in the Big Three <laughs> conversation. I'm sorry. Sorry to say, you make bops, like but. Big, big boy. Ten. <laughs> ben 10. Big 10. <laughs> <laughs> big 50. <laughs> like, because no, you're not in the Big Three, Big Sean. I'm sorry. Yeah, so <laughs> yo and yo, it's so crazy because like every time, every time he drops, every time he drops, this happens. 
It's like, yeah, so, um, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> who is that guy? That sucks. That sucks. So I, bad. I feel bad, bad for him. That sucks, dude. But like hey. you're giving a presentation and everybody's getting up throwing paper around. In the or everybody else is talking. <laughs> She's like, quiet down. She's giving me, quiet down. She's giving me a presentation. They're like, hey, fuck her. <laughs> it's like, anyways, guys. Damn, Big Sean. That, that wasn't the time for you to say anything. Yeah. That's like Bryson Tiller saying, but what about me, guys? It's like, yo, you're in a R and b Like... <laughs> What are you talking about? I feel like the R and B guys uh, should beef. Well, I mean, uh, Chris Brown and didn't Quavo. they beef yeah, before? Chris Brown and Quavo was beefing right now. Are they? What? What? Yeah. Qu- is Quavo? Quavo's- got the song, and there was a line in there about we drink something not Jose Quavo or some shit like that. Oh Lord. Yeah. Lots but it is a Don <laughs> Julio or nineteen forty two. I don't know. I don't know alcohol like that. Lots of prayers, right? Yeah. <laughs> because- it's only the big beef, three beef, the beef, right beef, now. beef everywhere, man. Looking like a fucking haram, you know. What I mean? <laughs> it's a circus, bro. But uh, that's it. We've we've given y'all enough, honestly. Yeah. Uh, make sure you shop Glow Nude for sure. <laughs> uh, subscribe on all platforms. Make sure you follow the podcast. Keep us going. Uh, I'm trying to get us to a thousand subscribers at least on YouTube. And um, yeah, listen to the audio. Listen to the audio for sure. Just. Play the audio, you know what I mean? Go clean your house or some shit, you know what I mean? And watch the video, because, you know, y'all probably like doing that anyway. And as always, we're war with ourselves. We're war with everyone outside. Be safe out there, guys. Peace.